Hi, in this video I would like to show you how you can use Kite to visualize your module dependency graph of your ELM projects. So, module dependency graphs um, are acyclic, directed acyclic graphs and they have the property that uh, they can be always ordered in such a way and that the, all the edges show this, uh, to the same direction. Let's see. You have to write your repository name here and click this button. Then um, Kite is going to talk to the GitHub API and download all the modules, read the lines and get the module dependency graph. So after getting it, maybe you apply the force. So uh, this has the special property I mean, this is kind of a, a topological sorting, but in a layered way. Um, each layer, uh, every node in the same layer has the same gravity center. The gravity centers, you can play with the gravity centers. And in fact, you can play with their, um, you can play with, um, each node has a gravity X and gravity Y property, which determines how strong it should be pulled to the gravity center in X, or in y direction. So these gravity centers by default in this case for visualizing module dependency graphs um, have law of x to prevent this kind of thing you know if the x gravity would be like that it wouldn't be so nice um, and they have high uh, gravity y direction I mean uh, high gravity in the y direction. So let's bring it back a little bit apply force again as you can see it's very cluttered now we are going to tweak it by hand a little bit to to make it look nicer let's see first of all i wouldn't i want i would like to delete all these test modules thanks god they are together so let's see Yes, we have chosen them. We are going to delete. So everything got easier. The main module I also would like to delete. We don't want to visualize it. I don't know why it's not deleted. No? Okay. And uh, this basic and maybe you have another option. You don't need to necessarily delete them. You can make them transparent. Let's make it in this case, the basics and maybe in case you want to see later give them opacity and also the vertices also we we may select yeah, we would like to select these edges with this edge selector and make them opaque Oops. no not the sorry not the vertices opaque but the edges Now, maybe select a better color for the edges. Lighter. This doesn't look bad. Apply force again and shake it a little bit so that it looks good. So this debug maybe comes here comes there these gravity centers make sure that the topological order is kept um, maybe this set here okay this should be put so at some point I have to close this uh, wader because it doesn't allow me to after closing it, I have to make sure that I don't uh, sure that I don't change the order. So let's do it that way. Huh. Maybe pull these things up a little bit. Good.
cut. Okay, now it looks nicer. You can also select um, some. You can also change the no the positions of the node labels. For example, if you want this, this, that, it would be better if these node labels would be below there. Use this also. Or you can, for example, that and that. Maybe it would be better if they would be to the upper left. And this and that maybe to the upper right, right. Okay. More or less. Now at least it's planar. <laughs> it looks nicer. And you have an overview of your project. I hope it helps. With the bigger projects again but you have to work more with uh, with many modules but if you keep the number of files small uh, in your project which is not possible always but uh, you can have a, a nice picture of the module dependency graph so tell me now uh, if i mean i would like to i would like very much uh, that you try this and tell me what is missing uh, you will encounter some problems tell me these i can change the app so that you don't have these problems anymore thank you very much for watching and bye